I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The House debated in gross second substitute House Bill 1213, focused on expanding accessible, affordable child care and early childhood development programs. The bill passed the House 5838, moving on to the Senate for consideration. Uh, it's impossible to open the news and not see an article about parents struggling to find or afford childcare, which is now more expensive than college. Uh, because of this, working moms and dads go without $14 billion a year in lost wages just here in Washington State as they take time off, decline promotions, or switch jobs. Um, when they can't find childcare, they can't work. And as a result, businesses lose $2 billion a year in Washington as employees miss work for childcare reasons and businesses miss out on prime talent, too often women. And I appreciate the fact how many of the people who have spoken on this bill had the chance to go to their uh, and tour the daycares in their communities. Unfortunately, ma uh, Madam Speaker, uh, a lot of my small communities, there aren't any, they're gone. We had a chance to take a step back and take a look to see what we've done as a legislator, how it was affecting the viability, safety, or our daycares. And I, I would propose that the gentleman from the 13th is correct. We are gonna go, we're gonna see more and more go underground. Women are not just half the population. Madam Speaker, they are half of our economy. And since 1979, because of women's added hours of work, our economy grew $1.7 trillion. Yet women also have and continue to carry the burden of childcare, housework, and schooling. I hear the, the good member, uh, her comments, and I, and I understand where she's coming from, I truly do. My concern is that we're expanding too much too fast. Uh, is that my first year in the legislature and I voted for the Early Start Act and I'm a believer in the Early Start Act. And I, but, I, but I have also listened to how well it's working and we have to see how it is working and, and what the folks that are out there doing the work, what they feel about it. And I too have traveled this state from- uh, Businesses cannot reopen their doors if their workers do not have access to childcare. Childcare providers are mostly black, indigenous and Latina women they're underpaid, they're undervalued, and most of them, most of them do not receive health care. Um, and, and I don't think it's right to call this a, a woman's issue, Madam Speaker. I think quality daycare is a family issue. And, uh, and, and we need to emphasize that because when there is quality daycare, uh, families thrive, not, not just parents, but kids too. The more we expand the public se sector with uh, growing the Department of Children, Youth and Families, as it's now called, I think the more we're going to see child cares go down and out of business. And we haven't even addressed uh, child cares that can operate uh, for those parents that have the graveyard shift. And I haven't heard any child care provider that wants to go there because of the regulations. And this is going to increase regulations. It's going to increase the growth of that particular agency. And that's basically why I'm a, a, a no vote, because I've seen the promises made and the promises broken. Like many here, I'm a mother. I have young children. I have a five-year-old who just transitioned from child care into kindergarten. It's been a hard thing to be transitioning as a public school parent into kindergarten online. But our family was prepared because we have had from very early on in both my children's life access to affordable childcare. Um, I understand how difficult and how expensive childcare is to every family, every uh, working family in our state. Um, but the, 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 the problem, though, is that it's gotten worse, and it's gotten worse because of some of the policies that we have implemented over time. Hundreds of thousands of people will benefit directly, and all of us will see the benefit of this investment in prosperity for all. Child care is critical to our economic recovery. 
Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News, covering the 2021 legislative session.